Orange Cassidy versus Brody Lee for the TNT title. I enjoyed the announcers discussing NBA booking at the start of this match. Yeah, that's exactly what JR said. So, it's kind of a weird match where it, even though the bell rang, it felt like it hadn't gotten started several times. It felt like they were doing a lot of pre-match shenanigans. Tons of interference with the Dark Order. Orange is suplexing his head a lot. And Brody goes to finish him off with a discus lariat, but Orange can't even stand. He just melts, basically. And eventually, Orange, he's playing possum. He dodges, uh, lures Brody into a trap, makes his comeback. Beats up all the Dark Order. Hits an over-the-shoulder pile driver on the very giant Brody Lee. That was scary. And the Dark Order is in the ring, and it's not a DQ. And Brody hits a powerbomb, and the... Uh, I said Brody wins with Powerbomb and DQ. That is not right. It was the Discus Lariat, I believe. Discus Lariat. Yeah. So listen, here's the thing with this Orange Cassidy, okay? He has to have a crowd. This gimmick needs a crowd. And there's a small crowd at these AW shows, but, I mean, he needs a big crowd. He needs 5,000 people in the building. Because, number one, comedy doesn't get over without an audience. You watch a stand-up comic with an empty building? I mean, death, okay? Mm -hmm. So Orange does a lot of comedy, okay? But the other reason that you need a crowd, it was abundantly clear to me here in this match. Without a crowd, the Orange Cassidy character is a fucking idiot. He comes out there against Brody Lee. He puts his hands in his pockets... He starts doing lame kicks, and Brody Lee punches the fuck out of him and <laughs> leaves him for dead. It was a great bump. Okay. So, without the big crowd, how am I supposed to feel any sympathy for this Orange Cassidy fella? Like, you put your fucking hands in your pockets, and you fake kick the guy, and he punch your fucking head off. You deserve that. Now, here's the key. The reason this works with a crowd is because when he puts his hands in his pockets, he puts his hands in the air and goes, oh, and he puts his hands in his pocket and they go, hey, and then he does the lame kick and they go, oh, and they're, they're having fun, but then Brody punches him and he ruins their fun. That's the heat. Without the crowd going nuts for Orange Cassidy, he's a dumb fuck putting his fucking hands in his pockets and getting his ass kicked. You know what I'm saying? This guy needs a crowd. And he also needs to just not be on TV every week. That's, that's another part of it, Vinny. But, yes. But that, that's also important when you don't have a crowd. Mm -hmm. You're going to overexpose the act when the people aren't going crazy for the... If the people are losing their shit every week for the act, it probably still shouldn't be weekly, but it works a little better because you've got the crowd into it. So I'm just watching him do all of his Orange Cassidy spots in front of a small crowd, and I'm like cheering Brody Lee for knocking his head off after he does something stupid. It just doesn't work without the people. It doesn't work if the heel isn't ruining your fun. The heel's just giving him what he deserves otherwise. Anyway, I thought the match was good, but he needs a crowd. And I think he knows this more than anybody else. That's probably true. So, Brody wins. The lights go out. Cody's music hits. Tony Schiavone is the only one who recognizes it. Cody makes his big return. His hair is black again, which I think is a massive improvement. And he hits the ring. Brody disappears. Uh... Uh, uh, Colt Cabana disappears. All the big names disappear. The lower tier Dark Order C teamers are in there, and Cody beats up all of them and puts a figure four on one of them, and that's it. So I guess Cody is back now. Yeah, I thought the entrance video that they had for him, the music, the fireworks, I thought it was a fucking great return. And then it led to something even better. Dasha tries to interview the Dark Order. Anna Jay takes the mic away, hands it to Brody Lee. Who cut an awesome promo. You've been gone for five weeks, he says, while well, I have been undeniable. What kind of man lets his family fight for him? What kind of man lets his wife post Instagram thirst traps while she's calling me daddy? You are no man. You are a coward. 
You can run for a long time, but sooner or later, Brody Lee is going to cut you down. And he has one of his goofs, reaches off stage, they hand him a chain with collars on it. Cody, I am challenging you to a dog collar match. You have one week to answer me. Are you a man or are you a coward? Brody was awesome here. It was awesome. Just great. I do like that, uh, and I mean, this is just, I mean, he's Cody. What the fuck can you do? But here's a good looking guy. He just got this gig doing that game show that they announced last week. I'm, I'm sure he could probably do stuff in Hollywood. But here he is. He's going to cut his fucking head all to shreds again in this dog collar match. He can't help himself. Constant bloodbaths. Yes. He's done stuff in Hollywood. He was on Arrow. That's right. Yeah. 